I'm gonna list the cons first because I want to get the the cons out of the way first because I want to end with the positivity that I have about this little drift race because I am super excited about this one so here we go with the cons small scale not everybody will like it then again bigger is more expensive if you look at to these uh, to these small little cars they are done there's nothing else needed maybe some tuning parts in in the future maybe some rims you don't like and you want to change them maybe a body they might get licensed in the future everything is possible with this but going as for a bundle as how the package is totally complete when you buy it the car itself and the handling it does and everything in the app with the sound and the lights and the how how the the car reacts to specific situations the scanner it has underneath there's nothing like this so that's why it's actually superb in my eyes but yeah not everybody will like this small scale probably but then again why wouldn't you like it you can take it with you everywhere you want to go so i think it's really cool so yeah not much content right away uh with the release they just came from uh, kickstarter of course they're trying to get this mass produced and uh, the, the company is getting uh, awesome awesome feedback from everywhere so they are going hard right now if you ask me and uh, i can't wait to test one out so yeah like i said not much content right now but they're working on that they already got some rims on there and i really hope they're gonna get some bodies licensed so yeah uh, next part the body of course what you can buy right now is an imaginary body so the body on the car is not something you can buy in real life some people might not like that then again if you just have patience we might get way more cool stuff because this could go endless this this car this design this whole team this could go till infinity and beyond if you ask me because it's it's pretty much done the base is done and everything else just needs to like flourish more and they will get more parts and bodies in my opinion as far as i know the speed might not be for everyone I have as a con. They are not super fast, I've listed. Then again, I've not seen one in real life. I can't see with my eyes how fast it goes. Sure, a video is a, is a good uh, way of checking out how they sound, how they look, and how they go. But then again, in real life, you can really see how fast they are. So I'm really intrigued as to how fast uh, a car like this can go with the specific specifications and will they make it faster in the future or uh, are there parts gonna be available for it that will make it go faster i mean technically if you can do everything with the car you could do drag races as well that will be awesome so yeah um controlled with a phone is another con not everybody would like this uh, there might be people who don't even have a touchscreen phone or a phone with the app installed that might be able to use it so uh, for me again, it's not a big deal. I've got an, a 7 S7 Edge and of course I have maybe a little bit of trouble with the Edge. I have to find that out and if it doesn't work on the S7 Edge with like the Edge being uh, very annoying, then I could also uh, tap the home button three times and make the screen smaller so my big the thumbs and fingers will fit on it without touching the Edge and going overboard. So I already fixed it for myself if there was uh, something wrong as a plan B but then again everything is gonna be fine I think and uh, if if you won't be able to use it with a phone they probably will uh, fix controllers in the in the near future or in the later future and uh, I even heard something about maybe other Bluetooth controllers or maybe something like a gamepad which would be awesome in my opinion but either way the phone is the way to go especially with the emergency function and stuff like that but i'll talk to you about that when i go to the pros and the pros are now so these are the pros that i have it's like a game come to life if you look at the design and how the car looks and how everything works it's not your conventional rc it's an rc that has no analog controls everything is digital you've got the phone in your hand you can use the gyroscope inside of that to steer you've got a specific dash with gauges on it and you can use the sliders with your thumb and stuff like that so i think it's super amazing there are no extra batteries needed so the car comes with a built-in battery that you can charge through a specific port and uh, other than that, you only have to watch that you're not going overboard with your phone because you're so in love with this car. It has lots of steering angle. If you look uh, to these little drift package nanos that I have, or if you look towards a X mod or a Mini Z, 
this drift racer has at least double, maybe even triple that steering angle. So as a drift fan and as somebody who drifts in real life, I love this. I think it's amazing and the way it looks in the videos and how it handles looks amazing in my opinion. So yeah, I like I said, I can't wait. Race and drift mode. So you can race if you want. You can even change the specific uh, settings on the car regarding the drivetrain. So if you want to go all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, uh, I think even front-wheel drive. Uh, don't pin me on that yet, but this will be amazing. I mean, everybody... If there are people like uh, like like others like uh, who don't want to go drift, then you could just put it in race mode, and and you'll be done. You'll you'll still have like the the standard awesome experience having this little car with everything that it it has in its in its body. So it's super amazing. Again, in my opinion, they they are getting so many people inside this whole fan base. If you're not a drifter, you're a racer. If you're not a racer, you're a drifter. Maybe like both. I like both, so I'm happy. Uh, there's a beginner and a pro mode if you are not uh, um, a big RC fan or you want to give this a shot and you don't know how to use it and you might get frustrated they thought about this and they have a beginner and a pro mode so you can choose what you want what's even more awesome of course is the scanner underneath the car that uh, scans the start slash finish line for lap times so if you maybe would buy a specific track they're gonna sell in the future I don't know if they will I think they will you will have a a track with a start and finish line and you can drive the car over it and then it will scan where the beginning and the end is and it will be amazing if my friend would buy one and he would be at home and we would both be like competing on the app with the same track and the same car maybe another different car and just have the time of our lives and try to be quicker than the other that would be amazing so he doesn't even have to come over would be cool though because we could do some tandem drifting and that's what i really love but it's amazing that somebody could like check their app and just go for lap times from there so that's that's really dope so it's actually a multiplayer game as well then we have the e-brake which is amazing, the launch control, which you can see in the, the explanation video. And what is really cool is if you e-brake, you let go of the gas, you press the, the e-brake uh, slider or button with your thumb. And because it's like in real life, in real life you have to let go of the gas as well when you e-brake. You have to put in the clutch, then yank the e-brake and let the gas go, of course, because the gas is going to uh, spin the wheels while you're trying to stop them with the e-brake. So what was really funny, I was looking at the video and all of a sudden I see uh, in the corner it says clutch kick. Now if you e-brake but keep the, the, the throttle on, so the gas, if you still use the gas and then use the e-brake, it's actually a clutch kick and you can hear the revs go up instead of using the e-brake as a brake trying to get into the drift. So every single way you can go drift, you can use e-brake or you can use a clutch kick which makes me even more excited and I'm already going crazy in my head right now so this is just amazing then of course there's the emergency function so if I have idiots over at my party or something and they want to try uh, this little game or this, this car out and they can even use their own phone to get the app down and get their own lap times in there uh, it's amazing that I don't have to secure my uh, my specific track that I have. I have an indoor drift track on my wall that, that folds into the wall. And um, I have these bumpers on there so that the car doesn't fall over. But it's a pain in the butt to sometimes get that on there. So normally I drive without those bumpers because I'm that good. <laughs> well, sometimes I'm that good. But yeah, if there are people and they want to try this and they think, oh crap, I'm going to lose the car and it's going to fall over the table or uh, from the track, uh, you can flip the phone and put the screen down towards like the, the floor or down towards the table and it stops like in one second or something. It's really amazing. So that's great that they engineered that in there. It, it's, it's awesome. And then of course there's a real behavior regarding scale experience. So the nose comes up when you're accelerating, the nose goes down when you're braking. Uh, different engines that resemble the real deal, thus every car is different. It's very robust. They will have great servers and a lot of parts will come on the long run. It's customizable till the end. I think it has LiPo batteries, so that's pretty cool too. 
they probably will uh, put up some local events, championship uh, championships, and maybe they will even do a roadshow, so they might go to different countries, which is amazing. They could come to Holland, which is right next to Germany. That would be awesome. And then, of course, there's there's just so much possible with this platform. Like, for instance, we can use, uh, or maybe we can pair Bluetooth controllers in the, in the future, like game pads and stuff like that. But they have to look into that. It's way too early to say that. And the way, uh, or, or how the car is looking right now and how it's handling and what I see on videos, I think it's already going to sustain me for a long time with a lot of fun. The only question I have, uh, and that's actually uh, not a pro or a con, it's just a question because I don't know, is how far and how long could you hold a drift with this? And uh, the bonus question is, what is the top speed? I know Martin already told us in the video that it's a scale experience, so if there's a car in real life with a V8, of course there is, uh, and it, it has a top speed from whatever, uh, this car would have a top speed in scale of that, 143. So I'm really excited and I really want to figure out what's going on with these cars. I really want to test one out and I can't wait to do a review about this. So these were the pros and cons. I hope you guys uh, found out a little bit of info like this. I mean, I analyzed all the, the videos pretty much and I am a super big fan. I can't wait for them to come uh, towards everybody, uh, all the kickstart backers and everybody else. So yeah, uh, if there's anything you would like to ask me or whatever, let me know. Hit me up in the comments below, like this video, maybe you want to subscribe even, and I'll check you out on a later time. Drift, the world's first model car that performs with the same driving dynamics as a real racing car. Hallo, ich bin Martin Müller und ich habe Drift erfunden. Drift ist ein Rennspiel, bei dem die Fahrzeuge nicht nur so aussehen, sondern sich auch ganz genauso bewegen wie ihre echten Vorbilder in der realen Welt. While ordinary scaled-down model cars appear unrealistic and are difficult to control, Drift emulates the complete driving physics of a real race car. They drive, spin and drift like the real thing, on the kitchen table, on the floor or in the office. Drift works on every smooth surface and does not require a special racetrack. Even an office desk is enough for exciting races. Drift is pure pocket-sized motorsports fun and can be played at any place in the world. There are different setups to suit the skills from hobby races to professionals. Die Vision ist, Produkte zu bauen, die nicht nur so aussehen wie ihr Original, sondern durch ihre Bewegung auch die Emotionen des Originals wiedergeben. Die Fahrzeuge selbst sind eigentlich nur das Ausgabemedium einer kompletten Fahrphysik, die im Hintergrund auf deinem Smartphone läuft. The drift races are equipped with intelligent sensors and the app and the vehicles can be updated. With the inputs and support of the Kickstarter community, new features can easily be implemented. An intelligent underbody sensor, for example, can scan the ground for different surface conditions or a start-finish line for precise lap times, track limits and more. It may even become possible to race each other virtually from any part in the world. Die zweijährige Produktentwicklung ist nun abgeschlossen. Hier auf Kickstarter möchten wir gemeinsam mit euch die Serienproduktion von Drift realisieren. Drift ist der Beginn einer völlig neuen Art Motorsport zu erleben und ihr könnt uns dabei unterstützen, herauszufinden, was noch alles möglich ist.